This is the Model 80, the latest synth plugin from Softube. They have applied their forensic level of detail into recreating the classic Prophet 5 as precisely as possible. But do we even need another Prophet 5 soft synth? After all, Yuhi's Repro is widely regarded as having nailed that sound. So let's look a bit deeper into the Model 80, what makes it special, what makes it unique, and if it knocks Repro off the top spot. Okay, so here it is. This is the default patch. But we do have this init button. So let's just have a quick play. We need to increase the envelope amount to hear the filter all the way up. The envelopes are really nice and snappy. Keyboard, we don't have an amount, we just have a switch. We have unison. And that's just with one oscillator. Let's turn on the next with the other one. Let's have a little listen to the pulse width. We modulate it with an LFO. We have to use the mod wheel as the amount, just like on the original. So you can get those rhythmic kind of effects. Let's check out some patches I made. These are available free. Just hit the link in the description. Just a simple square. So we have this quantized cutoff, which is really nice for tuning the resonance to be a musical value. So that's zero effects. Put the aging on. Add some pan spread. It really does have this prophet character, this kind of dark and a bit evil <laughs> character, I'd say. Okay, so let's compare the Model 80 to Repro. So for context, first a quick story. So I got into making electronic music 20 odd years ago and my first big gear purchase was a PC from Digital Village. So at the time when it was just becoming possible to do everything in the box, so that's what I did. But my friends who'd been doing it a bit longer had these setups with samplers and synths and I was so jealous. I really wanted the hardware, I wanted the toys. But also the sound of soft synths at the time, it it really wasn't as good as the hardware. The hardware just definitely sounded better. So after lusting after the hardware for years, I finally in 2017 bought my first analog polysynth, the Behringer DeepMind 12. And I have to say I was a bit let down by it because Repro had come out by then and just the patches and the sounds I was getting from Repro had this huge analog fatness, had this great tone, it sounded big and alive. And the DeepMind didn't really. I'm not knocking it as a synth, but it didn't give me what I thought analog should give me. So Repro at the time really had the juice and the vibe that I was looking for. And that became the new standard of quality of soft synths for me. So fast forward to 2022 and I picked up the Model 84 by Softube because I'd read good things about it online. And 
this was just like another jump up. I'd been using Juno plugins quite a lot for my channel, mainly the Arturia ones and Diva. They've got very good reputations, they're known for being good, but there was a clear difference in quality to me and I've since bought all their synths and I just find them really inspiring. So when I got the chance to test their new synth out, I jumped at it. So here we've got this patch in Repro. So we're modulating the frequency of oscillator A with oscillator B. It's a very similar patch. Now maybe I could program it to be closer, but I'm hearing a little bit of a difference and I, I did try and get it the same. There's a difference in the sound of the resonance. So here's Repro. And here's Model 80. It's very close, but there is a difference. So like here, there's a little bit, tiny bit more vibe to me. There's some weirdness going on, which I think sounds cool. So this is a very simple patch and there's really no difference to my ears. This is Repro. I mean, there's a tiny subtle difference. So that's Repro. That's Model 80, Repro. And I thought I'd just get a factory patch from Repro, and these really are very, very close. Repro 5, and Model 80. You do get extra features with Repro. You get a mod matrix, which increases your options. You get a lot of very nice effects, including this distortion, which is per voice, which is very cool. You get this tweaks page where you can actually swap out the filters for a few different types, like the Pro 1, for example, a few different envelope models and the oscillators as well. So Softube's approach is absolute authenticity. They don't add much at all in terms of features, but they have like a laser-like focus in making their soft synth sound exactly like the hardware. So some people would like to see other features added, like other companies do. But personally, I'm happy to sacrifice them for a sound that's this good. After all, I can add effects and even arpeggiators in the DAW. Also, with Softube, you do get the option if you have their modular, you get all the synth parts in modular. So that's actually even more flexible. So I'm very much a beginner when it comes to modular. So I've just done some basic things just to try and give you an idea. Okay, so this is a track that came together when I first just got hold of this synth. And let me show you some of the patches I made for it. Okay, so this was the first one. So I've just got a square wave and a square wave, tuned a bit differently, quite a short envelope. Then I've got this bass. A little bit of detune, two oscillators, and unison. Just sounds huge. Uh, 
very classic Prophety sound. Nice bit of resonance. Just one oscillator. Without the effects, it sounds like this. So you can hear the pulse width being modulated there. I mean, it just does have that sound to me. It just sounds very big and alive and nice. So um, yeah, just one oscillator. This is turned up, but none of these are on. Sawtooth, nice envelope. So I think they've really knocked it out of the park again with this one. It sounds so much better than lines of code have any right to. To be honest, I used to lust after vintage synths and I kind of don't anymore. I just, I love working in the box now and I can't wait to see which one they do next. If you want some extra patches for this synth, go to the link in the description and I'll send them to your email. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons. I appreciate your support so much. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.